Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Racing Topic Podcast, the first episode of 2023. And I am with two very fine gentlemen here from the Prime Power team and also have their own show called The Carding Minute. I am talking about Mr. Jackson Morley, driver of the the number 192, and Aristides Theodoropoulos, driver of the number 221. Both these boys have had quite the successful last year as well. Jackson Morley had a number of wins in the Ron Fellow series in the Mini Rock category. And Aristides Theodoropoulos won the 2022 Canadian Karting Championships and Briggs Jr. Light. They are both now moving up to Briggs Jr. And Aristides has also made his debut last year in Rock Jr. Um, And I'm pretty sure that'll continue on with his boy with that this year so anyway how are you doing tonight boys i'm doing good. pretty good yeah quite excited thank you for having us no thank problem you. at all <laughs> so uh once again and i'll leave a link to the in the description showing uh these guys channel the carding minute they produce some very nice videos uh i was happened to be the first video that they did for 2023 that came out on january 3rd so very nice from these boys this this episode should come out very soon as as quick as I can edit. So um, anyway, all right. So let's get into the gist of things. Um, I guess we'll start with the alphabetical order here. So Ari, uh, where did the um, <laughs> where did the um, carding journey start for you, my friend? Carding journey for me. So I think it was 2020. I was really bored one summer, so I asked my parents if we could go uh, to a go kart track, which just so happened to be Cameron Speedway, which is next to Canadian Mini Indy, where I drive now. So we went there and had a really fun day and noticed just next to there, there was some big track, which what looked like to be big carts. And we got very excited. I think my parents were a little nervous because they're like, "Uh oh, I don't know if I like this, but it's turned out to be really, really fun. So yeah, we did a little bit of research and then I went and did a a two day race camp with their Arrive and Drive series. I love that so much that I then joined Arrive and Drive. And from there, I went to their club level, AHRKC. And now I'm doing nationals. And uh, I will be doing Florida, the winter tour this year. So very I'm nice. very excited about that. Me too. Awesome. Hey, good stuff, Jackson. Uh, so we'll quickly jump over to you, Jackson. Where did it start for you, man? So I had always loved like racing and cars. I had always been watching those cars movies as a kid. Um, and uh yeah one day uh same like we went to Cameron's and uh when I was like seven and we looked at the Canadian Mini Indy uh, Arrive and Drive series and you had to be eight eight. so the next year I came and yeah we just started Arrive and Drive started loving it and then we practiced a lot got really good and then got a scholarship to go to HRKC and now I'm here nice awesome yeah so uh, just a question that I'm not aware of and probably that some people would like to know as well. Uh, as soon as you join, like with the membership and everything with uh, HR, uh, HRKC, uh, does that automatically sort of put you on the prime power team? No. no. So you just okay. like, you just get like a, you get like, you just get a, like a discount on like most of the cart parts at the HRKC oh, okay. and, um, and stuff. And like, basically you can race at the club level. And then if you like, and then if you're doing like really good and then move up to Ron Fellows and are really good, then like you can go to Trevor and be like, hey, can I join the team or and then pay him a million dollars? And then, yeah. Pay him right. money and then ta-da. Also, it's great to hear that um, he ended up getting a bunch more parts uh, after the unfortunate accident where the prime power team trailer was broken into. Um, but thankfully that uh, he made a post saying that uh, he's gotten some parts back just in time before the Florida Winter Tour starts up. Yeah, that was really good news to hear because they were the 10 bits, weren't they? I think they were the bits that held on the roof. So if we didn't have a roof, we could get very wet. That would be unfortunate. If it rained. Uh Or any other drastic weather changes that could just come out of nowhere. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, well, as of right now, here in Canada and all that, it's actually kind of mild out and it's been raining and then sunny today. So, but for the most part, you know, we're in January and it's going to start snowing like crazy. So, um, yeah. And that's why we're in the off season as it is. So, uh, all right. So let's move on to the next part. Um, So when did you guys, uh, 
really start becoming successful? Was it right off the bat or did it take you guys a little bit to develop or get, get into the swing of things and then it clicked? Um, I'll start and you can go next. Uh, I remember it was a ride and drive during my two day race camp thing that I did. Um, I was, I was pretty nervous at the start because I was like, Ooh, I don't know if I, this is pretty quick. So that slowed me down quite a bit. And then once I had moved out of the two day race camp, I was feeling more comfortable. So I was finishing pretty well in my first couple of races. It wasn't like top of the podium or I think I didn't even have, I was off the podium. I wasn't always on the podium. Uh, and then eventually I started speeding up and getting more comfortable with it. And I started finishing first and second and third. So my first year of arriving drive was mostly middle of the podium and I was doing really, really good then. And then HRKC, I got to win a couple races that year. So I think HRKC is probably where I took my biggest step up. Yeah. Uh, I remember like, I remember you came and like, you, like, you were pretty good off the bat and like, and then, like, uh, the, the Halloween haunt, uh, it, uh, the arrive and drive at Canadian Mini Indy does the Halloween haunt. And, like, that was the first race that, um, like, I think that season that I had been beat. And I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Like, perfect season. Yeah. I had, like, yeah. Because I ran, like, so I had the all-you-can-race pass. So I ran two seasons in one year. And I just like, and I put all my firsts in the good season and all the other ones in the other season. <laughs> just kind of, it's a perfect season. That's smart. Yeah. It is. But anyway, back to mine. Like, um, so mine, I did win my first, um, uh, it's called uh, Arrive and Drive race. But then like, I was coming like third and then second. And then I did like, like Ari said, like I did the two day race camp and I got a lot better then. And like, I just started progressing and progressing and just getting better and better and better. Hmm. Good man. All right. So that's good to hear. So it started out moderately quickly and you guys got to it now to the point where you're basically at the fellows level, uh, right up there with the prime power team. Um, so now was that all like sort of last year before you guys really got into the fellows? league or were you guys up to fellows by last year so or i should sorry i should say 2021 considering we're in 2023 oh, now yeah, yeah that's true. That's uh i'll go first for this one um so in 2021 i just started in cadet uh briggs cadet and um i so the first ron fellows round was at hamilton so we were like you know what why not we'll like we'll get a lot of experience off of it and we, we'll get really good I came second in both of their own fellows and like came out of that one uh 30 points in first. And I was like, oh, well, we have to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So I did the Ron Fellows then and I came second that year, which yeah. I I was pretty much the same as Jack, where we we knew that the um, Ron Fellows was coming to Hamilton and we were pretty excited about it. We we're like, this is gonna be great. We're gonna get to try out driving with a whole bunch of other people that we had never driven with before, check out all these big teams and stuff like that coming to our track. So we were excited to go do it. So we did. Um, I finished well. I didn't finish as well as Jack. I wasn't on the podium for either of them, unfortunately. But uh, so that meant I didn't continue on with the national races that year with Prime. But um, I was, I, I did join Prime the next year. So I had one national race in 2020. All right. Okay. So at least you got the, the feel for it and everything. So but uh, over to Jackson, it's like, well, yeah, at that point, there's no there's no better confidence booster than uh, going into the Ron Fellows yeah. Championship and then leading the points after the first round. So Yeah, like at that at that point, we asked Trevor, like, what do we do? And he was like, you have to do it. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you, know, you, you get a big high in confidence off of that. So, yeah, so now I'll go to you guys by saying, all right, so obviously Hamilton is uh, your hometown track, which I've only raced on that track once and I got myself really badly beat up. So uh, yeah. uh, it's, it's bumpy. They're yeah. saying the pay of the track. They also said that last year, mm. but <laughs> anyway, so, um, so you guys have raced there for the decent while that you guys have been racing now. So what do you think of um, the other travel tracks that uh, they've gone to? Like we have Innisfil on the schedule. We had uh, Bracken on the schedule in 2000, 
2020, 2021. And of course, Mossport Karting yeah. Center, which holds two races now. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really, really loved it because, of course, by then I'd been racing at Hamilton for about two years. So I was like, I kind of want to see what other tracks are like. Of course, I'd never, ever been to them before. Mm -hmm. So my first taste was Mossport, and I loved it. You know, huge track with a whole bunch of elevation changes. Felt like a roller coaster. So it felt pretty, it felt really special as well. I really liked it. And then Innisfil, I loved Innisfil a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I thought it was really, really fun to be going in and out of the hairpins, like as fast as you can. And then... Oh, turn one was really good as well because if you did it just right you could go flat out and it felt super satisfying the track it's brutal when you don't get it right because when you just go a little bit off it gets pretty bumpy but then when you get it when you get a good lap it feels so satisfying and i yeah. really really loved that feeling mm -hmm. so I, I liked traveling to other tracks uh, and you didn't get the do break in no i didn't i wish i could have it looked really uh, fun yeah i didn't yeah. Really, i didn't really like Brecken. It was okay. the The track flooded like a lot. Like, yeah, that's unfortunately one of the problems that it's uh, had. We've seen it where the track, where if there's a lot of rain, the track floods yeah. on some of the inner areas, yeah. especially turn one. So yeah, Innisfil. I I love Innisfil. It's a little bit bumpy, but heck, Hamilton is too. Um, but yeah, and Mossport. It's really smooth. There's about like one bump on the entire track. I feel. So it's it's one of my favorite tracks. Mm -hmm. I agree. And yeah. I have to jump in as well and say Innisfil was amazing. I raced on it in 2020 uh, when it was actually part of the Kart Star schedule. Um, so, and that was before the addition to the, uh, the next couple of. Um, yeah, yeah. I love first the, year, the, the first addition. year I did, um, uh, the first year I did Innisfil, uh, yeah, it was like. It was uh, like that, and then like, without the uh, new edition, mm -hmm. and it, and then they flipped the direction around. Yeah. And they added the new section, and I was like, well, they may as well rename it. <laughs> it was, I like the new edition, because it's yeah. super smooth, and the curves are, I, I, a lot of curves are bumpy, and I don't like bumpy curves. Yeah. But the curves are so smooth, so it was like a relief, like, oh. I love I love curbs now, so <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty happy. Yeah. Mm. I will say I was a bit skeptical before because I had been told that uh, Innisfil was bumpy. I went out and raced on it. There was like the one bump in between, yeah. like the um, the hairpin corners on the straightaway where it goes. <laughs> but other than that, yeah. I didn't really notice it. Like I I loved it. It was a great. It's a great driver's track. Like that really yeah. can show you yeah. if you can drive or not. So yeah, I love it. Uh, and uh, also another thing that a lot of people which I got a lot of feedback from as well uh, this year at Innisfil was that new section was actually a lot less grippier than the rest of the track. Cause it had just been put yeah. in and it hadn't taken the time to get worn in yet. So. Yeah. yeah. I think that was part of the fun. You had to like, figure out where is the grip. And yeah. you, couldn't, you couldn't see it yet. Just let the shaking drivers on that. They'll, they'll grip it. <laughs> yep. Let them do burnouts. Yeah. Uh, the also the thing that was funny about it was uh well what the heck just happened why did my camera shut off uh, uh, okay what is going on oh, what oh, okay <laughs> what is going on here i don't know why that just happened but all right hold on just give me one second sorry about this folks technical difficulties hold on okay i don't know what's happening why is it doing this what is going on Your microphone. it's it's singled out the green screen I don't understand. Like, I don't, I've never, hold on one second. We can continue like this. Oh, we, oh, there we go. Oh, oh what, oh. what is happening right now? It was good. It looks like it's shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. We're fine. We go. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that was all about. I really, that yeah, I've never had that happen before. Anyway, uh, I don't know if that's something with my USB connection or. Anyway. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That's for the that's for the funny moments montage right there, boys. Funny moments of twenty twenty three. First one didn't take us long, did it? It took nope. us less than took us less than twenty minutes to get into that. So, um, All right. yeah. The other thing that I was just saying about Innisfil was uh, between then. I don't know if you guys remember. Oh my oh, goodness, not man. again! What is happening? Why is my webcam doing this? I'm enjoying this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. I am going to. Turn, I'm Everyone going to. Talks. Oops. I'm just gonna blur the background. Actually, that doesn't. Actually, that doesn't. 
hold on. I'm just going to turn off my green screen here. If you guys will just give me one second. I don't know what is going on. Why? Oh, my gosh. I don't understand why this is happening. Anyway, there we go. Okay. Anyway, playing greens, playing green screen, whatever. Um, so, yeah, the other thing that was going on with Innisfil was, um, I don't know if you guys remember on the Friday, mm -hmm. it, it was actually raining a bit. It like oh, it came yeah. on and off in sections, but it's like yeah, even when it did, it. even when it did yeah. rain, it like never wet the course at all. It just dried oh. up instantly. Yeah, it was incredible. Yeah, because yeah, it was like it was like spitting, and then but like when you went on the track, it just dried up, and people were like, "If we go on wet, we'll be faster, but only for the first five laps, and then our tires will break. But if we go on dry, we're gonna slide all over the place." Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty exciting like, watching yeah. people strategize like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really enjoying it. Put a mix of them. Just put dirt bike tires on. <laughs> yeah, put the put the spike tires on, and we'll see how yeah. that one works. So, no tires. You, you don't need way up in the air. Be like up in the air. You don't need tires. Just rims. Oh, <laughs> sure that would work. I just run sparks. Rims. I run rims. Yeah, there'd be a lot of sparks going on, man. That and the speeds would be a lot more down as well. Yeah, if there was any speed. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, well, I guess we'll move on to, um, so I guess now we'll focus on last year now. So 2022 comes around, uh, prime power teams in full force heading into 2022, uh, area, we'll go with you first. So, um, you instantly took the points lead at most port. Um, as far as I, as far as I saw the yeah. first rate round of the season, I'm trying to think back now. Yeah. Cause I came second and first. So I think yes. I did. Yes, yes. And that was also that was when I also first learned your name, thanks to Jackson, because it didn't say the full name on race monitor. So and then yeah, it's pretty long. Theodoropolis, yeah. Theodor. I know how to say it now and all that. So um and then Innisville comes around and you went out and won the first race by like 30 plus seconds. I think it was about yeah, was and then like that. they were like Ari was entering the new section when they were like uh -oh. exiting the new section. Uh, I oh another funny thing that happened is I was um I was about to lap somebody, except because they were running juniors and junior lights at the same time, he didn't get oh, a yeah, blue flag. Right. He didn't get a blue flag. So it was it was kind of confusing when someone in how do you doesn't get a blue flag? I thought it was a pretty funny moment. Yeah, um, I'd say this, I'd say so. One second, guys. I'm just trying to mess around. I think it's something wrong with my USB on my camera here. I don't. I don't understand what's happening. Anyway, there we go. I'm not going to touch it. Um. No, we're not doing anything. Yeah. So at least, at least we keep it. the The best thing about this is uh, we get to see you guys and not me. So, what is going? <laughs> what is happening right now? Oh man, <laughs> this is great. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure everyone's going to love. I'm sure everybody's going to love this episode. Um. So, yeah. So now I'll go over to you, Jackson. Um, Mossport went pretty well for you as well, I'm pretty sure. The first one? Yeah. Um, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. I came fifth and seventh on my, like, that was my first race in mini, and I came fifth and seventh. I think. All right. Well, that's a decent debut, yeah. especially at the fellows level. It's like, that's nothing to be yeah. ashamed and of. Then, like, hmm? Oh, yeah, I came fifth and third. Never mind. <laughs> we got the inside information. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, you remember. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. How can I remember the wrong fellows from 2021, but not from 2022? I don't know anything about the 2021 one because I wasn't there. <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, Mossport went. Yeah, pretty well for our, like, first races in mini, yeah. It was nice. Mm. Good stuff. So then we get to Innisfil, uh, mm -hmm. and you were right on the pace going for the win, and then I think, was it the first race of that weekend where uh, yeah, your king, yeah. your, okay, it was the second race where your kingpin ended up yeah, so uh, the coming in? Yeah, I think it was the first race that, like, uh, I had been, like, I just had a really bad start i think 
And then I was way back. I don't even know what happened. No, because the start was. Wacky. I'm trying to remember. The start was what? Yeah, me too. Because like the start was, the start the start was, was a little bit weird. Because like, the then, like, row was far. Yeah, because like this guy behind me was like bumping me, and I was trying to stay on the brakes, and then I kind of drifted. And then uh, Roach saw me drift, and he was like, "Okay, Uncle Bottle." And then I was oh like, yeah, I remember that now. I remember watching that from the in the middle of the infield, and I'm yeah, like, "Whoa, then, what just happened?" Yeah, and then Caleb Pino and uh, Matthew just went straight like into the sunset, and then uh, and then the, the rest of us were like left in the dust, and then uh, and then I came. What did I come? In? third and then like dead last third and dead that last super sad i remember i saw your wheel go wonky and yeah I yeah that was, the king that was the king i was filled with dread that was the king thing that was mm. cool. i think i remember i remember calling it because I, I couldn't see over there at the time and then i saw you pull off to the left and then i saw you looking over it's like okay it was either a tie rod or, or something along with the left front so yeah it was my king pen mm -hmm. so so then um after the fun of Innisfil, we get over to your guys's bread and butter in hamilton so you guys obviously were feeling the home track advantage there so yeah but like before that there there was like the 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 canadian oh that's right the yeah uh, Can the canada cup canada oh. cup and then the dash for cash the dash for cash as well that was on the same weekend was it not no, it was uh, the so yeah, so it was Saturday and then Sunday and then the next weekend was Juan Fellows. Yes, so that's right. Lunch. And then the Canadian yeah. Open. It was pretty busy. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. at the Canada Cup. I was in Point Pelee at that weekend. So the Canada so. Cup was fantastic. Where I think where'd you come? In I the came Canada Cup. first in the Canadian Canadian the Canada Cup. <laughs> uh, and then you beat me in Dash for Cash. Yeah, I won in Dash for Cash and then second in Mini and for Mini in um the Canadian Open, I won by, or the Canadian Cup, I won by 11 seconds, and then, uh, I don't know what I did in Briggs. Uh, no, I do. Third. Yeah, I came in third in Briggs, because I have the trophy in my room. I remember. <laughs> I remember now. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, so then the Dasher Cash, I came in second and first and then Aerie came second right yeah, yeah came second. yeah and then for the wrong fellows i came oh uh yeah there was drama between me james and oh, ethan chan oh out of corner four yeah we uh and then i had to catch back up and then i think i came i remember that i do remember and, that and third i think i don't to this day i still don't know how james did not go over he was yes. this close he was completely up on 90 degrees and then it got set down yeah. i've seen i've seen the video now because i didn't see it yeah what it happened it was crazy i look i need to see that video i still haven't seen it yeah. so I didn't uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. well uh if you could if you guys could contact him and uh somehow get me that footage that would be amazing <laughs> so yeah and then for mini, I came third and last because my um oh. my bumper, my front bearing. Oh, oh. yep. Way it just up. came right up and you couldn't see anything. Yeah. And, and I was trying to punch it back down. I was like, get down. And they, I remember it they didn't... accidentally grabbed the warning flag. Yeah. Than the meatball. Yeah. Instead of grabbing the meatball, they grabbed the warning flag. And oh. I was like, I stay out. Because I, I came in because I saw they were grabbing a flag and I thought it was a meatball flag. And I was like, no. So that's really? that's unfortunate. It would this way and it would go, whee! Oh. <laughs> like so sensitive. <laughs> that's what you? the fairings are like. So so then, uh, yeah, after the craziness that was in Hamilton and uh, it actually, it, it didn't rain, even though a bunch of times it looked like it was going to. Yeah. yeah. Um. We ended up going also that was one of the hottest weekends as well. Like they were having yeah. to take drivers under the shade there. And you know, you know, please they told them please stay hydrated, get there's a fan there. Yeah. Please go in there, just make sure you stay cool because it was yeah. insanely hot that weekend. So and then there was the the what's it called the Canadian Nationals. Then yep. there was the Nationals. Airy one. 
Very well done. I was just about to get to that. Yeah. So. Uh, and then I came um, in second. I was in third on track, but then there, like, there was a bumper penalty because the last guy uh, was like, get out of my way. And then he mm. got a bumper penalty, and then he got a contact and bumper penalty. Yeah. I remember what happened there. Mateus, it was Mateus Romaljo and Edward Kennedy that were going at it for the win. And then Kennedy won Rotax and um, Rock. Actually, yeah, he won Rotax and Rock. That's really. I thought yeah. I thought um, Gabriel Balog won Rock. He an engine claim and, he's, and he oh. rented an engine. He rented the engine, so he had to say no. Oh, oh that's. <sighs> That sucks. That's that's unfortunate because he dominated. He absolutely dominated the race. Yeah, he was like half a lap ahead. Yeah. Jeez. So I'm I'm wondering now though that they made that motor claim, was it legal after all? So anyway, I I don't want to get into that, but I didn't yeah. even know that until now. Yeah, I talked to Gabrielle at Vegas. Like we had a giant conversation about it. It's, it was crazy. Yeah, uh, jeez. Adding to the already craziness that was 2022 Canadian Carning Championships, because what probably a lot of people, well, they should remember from the start of the day was it rained, and the first couple yeah. classes had to start in the wet. Yeah, I was so happy when I figured out that I wasn't going to be in the rain. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> such a relief because I was watching yeah. the Rock Junior, who was first, I think, mm-hmm. and I was watching them all like slide all over the place. Oh yeah, and then those I am not. Oh, was it Rotex? Oh yeah, it was Rotex. Oh, uh, yeah, Rotex started in the morning. It was rock that was later. I, um, turns out I'm not great in the rain at Mossport. Mm-hmm. So I was just hoping that it wouldn't rain. And then luckily, I saw everything drying up. And it was very, it was a very, very relieving moment for me. Yeah, and then that. we went to, um, the last Mossport race where we did a bunch of karting minutes there. I think we did, like, four karting minutes. in mm-hmm. like days. We totally did more. We did, like, yeah, we seven. Did- yeah, no. Well, then we have. We did four, so we did Richard Boak. We did yoga. you. We did you yoga, yoga, uh, Mac, Mac, and then Ken. Greco, Ken, Ken and, Greco. and six. Was and it Pierce? Yeah. Was it Pierce that you guys did? And, and Pierce. Pierce. So then that's yeah. eight. That's eight. Eight carving minutes in two. Holy days. crap, man! You eight guys nailed it. I yeah, we had. We were just. Oh. Yeah, running at the around. Lunch running race, around like, go, and go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, we were like, go, 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 go. Yeah, because we couldn't do it when the carts were going. And the data dudes were yeah. working. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, the drag can out of the trailer. Yeah. He didn't want to do it. <laughs> no, he asked us oh, to yeah, no, do no. it. He, he didn't want to, he wanted to know what the questions were beforehand. Yeah, we said no. <laughs> uh, we ended up telling him because he wasn't going to do it otherwise. Yeah. Uh, we were desperate. Yeah, well. <laughs> I remember uh, I, I almost accidentally walked in on one of yours. I think you guys are interviewing Pierce uh, when you guys were on the, the yeah, table we, there. And I, like, yeah, I sort of walked in the back. I'm like, oh, okay, in, these guys are these saw, guys are doing. You saw it, and you were like, um, <laughs> yeah, I exactly. didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. that actually. I probably didn't. I know did. That. I realized. I'm like, oh, hopefully I was in the shot. And then I got a, a message from Logan Ploder about two weeks ago, and he messaged me, "Hey, look, you were in the background on this carding minute." I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I did get in the shot, and I see him there. I'm like, yep, you can see me, and then you can see my face change. Like, oh, hold on, let me get out of the way. Yeah, I think that's great. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> on to the race. Oh yes, the race. Uh, <laughs> I forgot that happened. We ca- uh, can we go back to the Canadian Championships? Because um, oh, yeah. we didn't really go into detail about that, did we? Oh, we yeah. just talked about the weather and all the craziness elsewise. Yeah. But because um, I will say that was, first off, the atmosphere. That Mossport, I've never seen it that packed before. It oh, yeah. was just rammed. Yeah. And the, the, That's good. the ice yes, top it was. Yeah. The more competition, the better. Yep. I like it when, even when you're off track, it's kind of crazy. You know, yeah. there's people rushing, like, oh, gosh, I'm late to the track. Yeah. i got to get off track now. Yep. Yeah. Or people like, oh, my engine isn't starting. Yeah, yeah. I was or in this case, you're in uh, in between the uh, switch from wets to dries, and you have to oh, yeah, pick yeah. a side. Oh, I can't it imagine the stress level. Last second. It was, it was chaotic. The last second. Yeah. It was chaotic. Yeah. The Rock Seniors, they were, like, all the wet. There was, like, the top six were the only people that put on dries. And then the rest were wets, and they were just dominating. Like, even yeah. if they weren't the best drivers, they were just like, boom. Yep. 
It was a crazy day. Yeah, it was. Um, so Ari, you did end up uh, winning that race in one of the best Briggs Junior Light races uh, that we've seen in a while. I will say that was awesome. So I a lot of <laughs> a lot of swapping back and forth. You never knew who was going to come out on top. So yeah, no, I it was. Not I the was, most pleasant to drive. I was screaming <laughs> for you. Like, I, like I my that. voice hurt after. I could, I could hear it. I was calling the race, and I could hear you guys in the stands behind me going nuts. <gasps> I had to give you a little shout-out, Leah. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I remember was, that, too. That was great. My energy was, was I whacked with the flag. I, I Your interview. Oh, yeah, he did. He, did. I was, yeah, I was, he, had, he hit me with the flag. I was like, ooh, I like the flag. That was fun. I was playing with the flag in an interview. Pro. Mm -hmm. That was one of the most, um, well, I guess I could say it this way, that one of the most professional interviews ever for a kid your age, man. That was absolutely awesome. And I hope everybody agreed with me on that uh, when they heard it and everything. And then, all you, and then all you heard af after the, once the interview was done was Jackson, your dad just shouting, yeah. <laughs> and everybody could hear it. So. Yeah, that's amazing. I, I didn't hear it because I was getting into the car. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and as for you, Jackson, like you said, uh, you ended up getting second through all of that after the last lap contact. And even that, it looked like you could possibly catch up. And then those two were sort of just drafting with each other, not really yeah. fighting. So it was just kind of getting away. My helmet, like, it's not brakes. Yeah. It's not racing. <laughs> we're passing each other. Yeah, that was frustrating. And it just yeah. didn't happen. It's like, and I can see you doing everything you possibly can. Head talking, doing this, yeah. doing that. It's like, you, you, like you're just in that position. I was like, yeah. come on, come on, come on. Uh-huh. It's like a... Watch. Yeah. So, it's whatever. Yeah. The Canadian championships were uh, something to behold this year. That's for sure. Yeah. So a lot of drama. Last year, I guess. Mm -hmm. Last year was great as well, I will say. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to say what was the better of the two because they were both great. So, um, so we'll go on to the final round of the season in uh, the Ron Fellow series at uh, Most Port again. And this time it was sort of something that we really hadn't been doing all season really was first off colder conditions on the yeah. Friday and Saturday. Uh, and I was actually saying we might be seeing some track records because yeah. when you notice it, it's like, well, when the track's really hot, it gets sticky as well. But yeah. I've set track records before, and it's been done before, where when the track's not necessarily sticky, but, like, the air temperature's a bit cool, but there's still a lot of grip out there. So you're not sticking to the track that much, but as you're going, like, by in the straightaways, the top speed is a lot faster. Yeah. Because so, it's colder. Yeah. Interesting. That makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. I would know. I've set a track record in those conditions before. Mid-October, Goodwood, reverse track. Going the other direction, I set the track record. Uh, do you still have it? Yes, I do. Ooh, 2000, 2020. So. Ooh, I had a track record for about an hour. <laughs> okay, what yeah. happened with that? I beat it by two tenths. Next session, Ari beat it by two tenths. Oh. <laughs> well, then, this is one of the two. And then at the Ron Fellows, Yanni beat it by like a second. And oh. nobody could get it after that. Yeah. I don't oh, think boy. It was a 42.8, and I mean, it was a very good senior lap. So seniors wow. were struggling to hit 42s, and we hit a 42.8. Like, wow. Was, and that, that was, sorry, where? Which track? Hamilton. Yeah. Oh, it was, oh, it was Hamilton. Okay. Yeah. Wow. If it was Moss Sport, I'd be very impressed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So uh, Frankie has the mini um, lap for. Um, lap record for uh hamilton and i was like yo frankie uh because we were running together for qualifying the juniors and the minis for club and i was like frankie help me beat your record bump me on the straight and he was like dude i'm gonna blow up your entry <laughs> <laughs> really yeah up yeah i went 101 and he was like pushing me my rev limiter going ah. and yeah, i didn't exactly. want to think about it yeah but yeah, well, that's one way to do it. It did set a mini top speed record. Well, there you go. You got that to your name. Uh, There's always ways to wiggle it around. So yeah, back to the Mossport final round. Oh yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. What were we gonna say? So, so 
Well, Ari, you came into the weekend with the championship already locked. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't well, even think. Yeah, no, no, I yeah, had it. Yeah. yeah, he had it locked. If yeah. Keaton had won absolutely everything, like qualifying, it, it would have been a tie. It been yeah, a tie, but I had one more race. Yeah, I so that that would have won the championship. Yeah, yeah, so either way, you pretty much had it locked, even though it was dead on two hundred and eighty points in the first qualifying. So, yeah. yeah. So I ran Rock Junior for that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, how was your debut weekend in that? Um, it was fun, but trouble, troublesome. You didn't because even make the first start on one of them. I didn't make most of the start. No, I, I had a couple of problems in practice. <laughs> one of my wheels fell off. In a different practice, my steering wheel fell off. That was a weird one. Well, oh. it didn't fall off, but it started like it came off of its bracket, so it was like sliding up and down. Oh, that's not good. That's not so something you I, want as a driver. I, Steer, steer that was unfortunate um on qualifying it was raining so i i spun and i i, I had an accident and couldn't start again unfortunately because my starter was broken oh. uh pre-final i didn't make the start line because i stalled in turn 11 and didn't know how to restart on track um uh, yeah, yeah, and at sure. another practice I broke on the rubber when it was raining, but just slightly uh, on the And I spun backwards and ran my back into the t- into the like plastic barriers and turned Yeah, five. turn five. I remember I remember that. That was that was all the bad stuff for the weekend. Mm. Unfortunately. All to the good stuff. The good stuff. <laughs> I, I did racing and that was fun. No, um <laughs> that's the good news. Man, the good news, I, I had a great um what day was the first day was the dry one, right? Yeah, the first day was the dry one, second yeah. day was the yeah. My dry day, I I think I I was really, really happy with what I did. I finished ninth. Um yeah, I finished ninth. Uh and I I kept fairly consistent throughout the race. So that made me feel quite accomplished that I knew that I could stay consistent and decently fast for my first time, or well, it would have been my second time driving a rock cart. So mm-hmm. I'd say that was the highlight of the event. And then rain, I didn't spin on my final. And that made me very, very happy. That was my, I was very slow, but I didn't spin. So yeah, that was some good news. For me, I, so on the first one, I uh, also did racing. And uh, I don't know where I finished for the first one, like second. You finished third, pretty well, I think. I can pull it up for you if you want. Okay, third. Let me third. see. Oh, it was third. Okay. It was third. Um, and um, it was third. And like, um, I don't know how I got it. Didn't rem- really remember you that one. Yeah, I, I, don't I went Zoom. I, I was just, I just went Zoom. You I'm didn't sorry. use the left one, obviously. No, I didn't use any use brakes. It. Never. Uh, especially in I've never put my foot on. Yeah. <laughs> um... And then for the second one, I remember that um, practice session. You had like one practice session, and it was it just started raining out of nowhere. So you had one three minute practice session to figure, oh. to figure out the wet. I was second slowest, and the guy in last, he uh, didn't finish a lap, oh. so I was basically last oh. in practice. Oh. Yeah, uh, Trevor wasn't very happy about that one. Oh. Um, <laughs> we did a lot of data with. Um, uh, mm-hmm. The senior rock drive, uh, one of the prime senior rock driver, Patrick Woodstock, and he did some data with me. And then I went back out for qualifying, qualified six, I'm no, seven. seven. I qualified third. <laughs> qualified third. Our facts are perfect. You yeah. seem to be always missing it when you're third. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then so I qualified third, and then the pre-final, um, I spun into the chicane, but like, and then I ended up getting out of the, the spin in ninth, because people saw me spin, and like everyone behind me spun, and I was oh. like, what? and like only nine people got away, and I was like, oh man, and then I like, I, I, I had caught up to the to the eighth person, but it was the last lap, and I was, like, probably this far behind, um, and, like, just didn't, uh, get it, so I had to, and then someone got a pushback bumper, so I, 
started the uh, final in eighth and then just started working my way up. And then I got up to second and then um, Pap was like way ahead, gaining like two tenths a lap. And then like I had real, uh, I didn't realize that he had a pushback bumper. And on the last lap, I took it a little bit slower to be safe and didn't realize that he had a pushback bumper and he was 5.2 seconds ahead of me. It's like 5.5 or something. I don't know. Um, And like, we were like, no, but then he stopped on the track, tried to fix his bumper and got disqualified. And so I won the race (laughs) in my first Ron Fellows win on the last, on the last race of the season. That was, that's one way to get it. Yeah, so, like, yeah, I didn't know until they, like, handed me the first place sheet, and I was like, yeah. oh, I won. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that ends off the 2022 Ron Fellows season for you guys. Ari, you won in uh, Briggs Junior Light, and you started off at Brock Junior. Jackson, uh, you finished second, I think? Third. Oh, third. Okay. Okay. Uh, but sure. still top three driver all year, uh, yeah, including great. including some real good mini rock battles at Hamilton with yourself, Matthew Rhodes, and Christian Papp. That race was great to watch. Yeah, it was really good to watch. Those, um, me, Matthew, and Papp were, and Declan, were like always in the top uh, like four. We were always fighting it out. I beat Declan in the championship by one point. Oh, <laughs> oh that, that is so win. close. <laughs> And if Pap hadn't done that, he, I would have been fourth, and Declan would have gotten third. But he made me get first because he, oh. he stopped, and I was like, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. Pap ended up finishing in the championship. Was he second? Yeah, he was second. Because mm-hmm. uh, at Roach, the time he was still fourth. fighting for it with Roach, because Roach the previous yeah. day had just taken the point lead away from him. Yes, um, Roach had already won, even if he didn't like. Um, push the push so yeah nope there we go okay sorry guys had a massive lag spike there no i heard everything you said so um wow well all i all i know is it came was starting to come right down to it and then roach really started to pick it up in the second to last race and built himself up a nice point lead so yeah, the trouble is, I think he came, like, I think Roach came seventh and fifth in the first Ron Fellows race. Yeah, and, like, I was getting myself mixed up with Roach. And, yeah, so he didn't have a great start to the season So in the Ron Fellows. And then he just started picking it up. And then in Innisville, he won a race. And, like, he just started picking it up and doing really good. Yeah, he ended up winning the championship. So. Congrats to him. He also won the Mika title as well. So really? I didn't yep. know that. Yep. Yeah, well, it, it was like him and Declan and then Marley, I think, right? I'm trying to think. I don't know. I I, I don't remember. I think I'm yes, I'm I'm sure it was him and Declan. Yeah. It might actually have also been uh oh geez, there's so many of them. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting the mix up with Briggs Cadet right now because so many of them race both classes. So, yeah. Um, also, can I say the Canadian Karting Championship uh, possible race of the weekend was the Briggs Cadet race? Oh, because yeah. that was also just before it had transitioned from wet to dry. So, uh, that was crazy. There was a well, started on the started on the first lap. The there was like 16 carts that wrecked in turn six, yeah. including the leader. The favorite. Of the race was Hudson Erling. Hudson Erling, yeah, and he spun in turn six and caused a and caused the chain reaction. Yeah, he caused the chain reaction. He was way behind, and then it was like he would be ahead in Hamilton. He would be like way ahead, like half a lap ahead, and then there would be like a seven car train, like just all fighting. And then when Hudson got t- when Hudson uh spun out, we were like, it's that seven car train. Yeah. Like it's a seven person battle for the win. Yeah, and it was. It was. Yeah. Like we had multiple lead changes there. You had Declan, you had Leo Da Silva, you had Domenico Krupe, who actually led most of the race. Yeah. 
Was it the last lap where that overtake was outside in turn five? I think, I think it was. I think it, it was it was either the second last lap or the last lap. But at the time, it was still wet. So I think it was one for the lead. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It I'm was. trying to remember. The win, sorry. But it was- I have the I have the audio files of me calling it, so I can always go back and look at it. So mm-hmm. fair enough. That'd be cool, actually, that you could check that out. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, Ari, for your race, uh, the camera died. The battery went, so it started out like the first half of it, I think, and then I think it went. So. Uh, but I did like throughout the rest of the day, I kind of just had to like get the start and then turn it back on for the last six laps, uh, just to get it in. So this year, if I end up calling the Canadian championships again, I have, um, a plug-in battery now, so it'll give me unlimited battery life, but, um, I might want to race the Canadian championships this year. We'll see. So I think you'd like it. You should totally do it. I have before, but it has ended horribly for me every year, man. It's like a curse. I don't get it. But every time I do the nationals, it just ends terribly. I'll talk. uh, uh, We'll see if we can arrange something like that. Anyway, um, (laughs) that'd be pretty good. Um, So uh, any other like really good funny stories um, at, uh, throughout these couple of years that you guys have started out with carding and all that. He threw a tire at my head. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> so we were like, we were doing a like for a carding minute. We were like filming in the grave, uh, the tire graveyard at Hamilton, and we were like doing tire fights, like throwing tires. And oh my! God. I fell down. I, I sat down. He, and he just fell went down. down. My head. He fell <laughs> down, like, lying down dramatically, and, and then fun. I just grabbed the tire and just whipped it at his head. And I went. <laughs> Yeah, he was wearing a helmet. He's fine. It's a okay, good. And you should it's, in the it's in the. Oh, safety I need to see that. It's in oh, the, it's in this. It's in the safety video. Oh, okay. Yeah, find the safety video recording minute on both of our Instagrams. Mm-hmm. Follow them on Instagram at uh, Jacko Five Hundred and Aerie Does Racing. Is Jacko Five Hundred Racing and yeah, Aerie Does Racing, and then most importantly, uh, Aerie Period Does. Period racing. <laughs> I just um, if you don't have Instagram, I have a, a I have a I have Facebook too. So do I. And it's the same thing on Facebook. I yeah. don't actually. You don't have Facebook? Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. I don't. I use Instagram more than Facebook. Mm, I have I have Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. I don't have well, I have Twitter as well, but I barely use it. So I'm the same. So nice. Yeah. Uh, also, I have a funny story on how I got my number. Okay. Uh, 92. Um, so we were given like a, I think it was like for like school or something. We were given like a project and you had to build something out of cardboard. So I was like, build a car, build a cardboard car. I think this was like grade one or something. And I was like, oh, build a cardboard car. I got a big box so that I could fit in it, made like paper plates, colored them black for wheels. And then um, like, and then I wanted them. And then my mom printed me stickers. She works at the sign shop. That's one of my sponsors. And um, so like, she just printed me stickers and she chose 92. And I was like, I really like that number. So 92 is my number now. And there we go. Cardboard box. (laughs) <laughs> that's one way to get it yeah. Ari, Ari was there any uh significance behind your number there's a little bit of one I really wanted 29 because it's my birth date okay. um, but backwards. I didn't get 29 oh and it is 92 backwards so that's kind of neat um, Irony. I didn't I didn't get it unfortunately uh so my, my second choice was um 21 because my cousin was born on the 21st and so was my grandma actually uh and then I got the number and only this or sorry last year in 2022 did we realize it was also the year I started carding with like choosing my own number so it ended up having about three or four different meetings so Mm -hmm. it wasn't as creative and fun as Jack's but also it just revolved around birthdays me and Jackson Pearsall we always like do fights on like who's the better Jackson and he at 29 92 backwards mm-hmm. irony right there as well man especially since and I have to say this out as well I kept mixing you guys up a couple times earlier this year when I made my calls yeah. I accidentally oh. said Jackson you Marley when it was in shifter. I was in shifter yeah oh man 
all the way from London, Ontario, Jackson Morley. London. Yeah. I live in Ontario. Oh, or, uh, yeah, London know. is in Ontario. London, Ontario is in Ontario. Is it? Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. <laughs> Unless you're, unless you're thinking of London out, out in the UK. Yeah. But what about London, Ontario in Mississauga? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a great geography person. No, I'm not either. Oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. So um, anything else, boys? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just give me a weird look. Oh. <laughs> Louisiana. Oh, that was, that was the other thing. <laughs> that I um I noticed that the one uh, I, I don't I was talking to somebody on the prime team. Uh I don't know if it was you, Ari, or one of the other teammates, and I turned around and Jackson was just standing there giving me the most judgmental look ever behind me. I turn around and he's just looking at me like, hello. <laughs> hello. It's what he does. No, I just like I just like you will spend like, you know, you will spend 30 minutes looking for him. You will go back to your tent, like you go to your little area in the tent, have a snack. Turn around, you're just stand, standing there, like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> just creeping people out, you know. Or you'll oh, see man. the last year go, meow. <laughs> yep, meow. he did that too. He tried to do that in the mic, I remember, at one of the last races. Yeah, man. I tried to, like, you were talking, and I tried to, like, jump in from the side. I was like, meow, <laughs> meow. It sounds like something you do. It sounds like something you do. Oh, man. I have good times. We all do, man. We all do. We've done some ridiculous stuff the past couple of years. <laughs> we have fun. Isn't that the whole joy of it, though? Yeah. yeah. I like racing for racing, but then half of it's also just the people. Yeah. Everyone's really nice. Yeah, I haven't, like, met a single family who is, like, who is, like, like not nice. Like, they're all great people. Like, the karting community is great. That's, that's one of the best things about it, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. So... Um, anything else, boys? Um, not that I can. Think. I like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like cheese. Uh, yeah. I like cheese fingers with bacon. Bacon's yummy. Yes, it is. I want to get a bacon air freshener for my car t-shirt. Bacon air freshener. <laughs> 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 That's I've never heard that We're before. Talking about this on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm really up stuff. I didn't exactly say what it had to be related to, so I mean, he's all free to do it. I was just gonna say, if you like bacon and cheese, try uh, Montana's bacon mac and cheese. Man, it's great. Oh, love it. I love it. It's amazing. I should go to Montana's now. The last couple of times I've been there, I had that. So you're taking me now? No, I said oh, I'm, I'm not taking. I'm taking. <laughs> not taking. If you're not taking me, I'm not talking to you. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I like bacon mac and cheese. It's very important stuff. Uh, yeah, I could this is great. <clears throat> yep. All right, boys. Well, we've been going at it for almost an hour. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's just past eight. So, uh, we've been absolutely nailing it, but uh, a bunch of good stuff in this one. So, uh, I guess one last thing I, sh- I should ask is uh, where do you guys see your future uh, with karting? F1! <laughs> this is a hard one for me because I mean I want to go to F1. Mm-hmm. Um it's hard but though, at the same time it's hard to win. it's it's hard at the same time because it's there's so many other people vying for the spot. Yeah, and then it's yeah. also you get to you get to say you're good enough to go to F3 or something. Yeah. And you just can't afford it. Exactly. You don't have the sponsorship dollars, you just don't have the money to afford it. It's really unfortunate because I bet you there's somebody out in the world who is an absolutely incredible driver who just couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to get to F1, obviously. And, oh, it's just not nice to think that it's expensive. Mm. Yeah, it is. So. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, that's some, sometimes the ball has to go that way. It sucks. It really does. Trust me, I've seen videos and stuff where people end up losing their rides because they couldn't afford it or some downright stupid chicanery that you know led to that because of some scam or somebody just outright pulling out when pulling out of business when they shouldn't have but it right. unfortunately leads up to it so yeah. but um, i would like to get to 
And yeah, that, that, that'd be fun for an instance. Well, if we end up doing that, and also fun fact as well, I'd love to be a uh, analyst for F1 one day as well. That's that's a big ask as well, but um, a lot of people say I'm really good at my job, so yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep plucking away at it. Thank yeah, you, you are. are so I probably like I wouldn't know who anybody was. I, <laughs> the green helmet's done something. I don't know. He's <laughs> gone quickly around this corner and overtaken the uh, the blue car is doing good. I think. I think number twenty one. No, that's fifteen. <laughs> I can't tell. Number oh, they it's already gone past. <laughs> number has gone quickly. Yeah, no. Number something has gone quickly. Mm-hmm. It's. it's I thought it's just really hard to do. Imagine someone number was just question mark and you said number question mark has just gone by. Oh, geez. Yeah, that'd be something, man. See, one of the better things to do is uh, when I commentate, and I said this as well in your um, carding minute video, is I have race monitor up. So I like, yeah. even yeah. if I don't know where they are exactly on track at the time, it shows you where they were the last lap. So, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be handy, actually. Mm-hmm. God forbid it doesn't say waiting for data on it like it has a couple times. I bet you that'd be bad. Oh, it sucks. I've had it where all of them said waiting for data. It's like, all right, I'm just going to have to pinpoint them out on the track, but I know them well enough. And then there was a race in 2021, one of the last Mika races of the season where it was like, it was, we were like in a fog bank. So I could barely see over when they were in the bowl, for God's sake, man. It's like, oh, you could yeah. barely see at all. I, I started doing it at the end of last year. And then I did most of the Mika races this season and most of the track races at Goodwood this season as well. But, I see. I didn't know you did that. I thought you just did it for nationals. No, I do it uh, anywhere I can. Anywhere I can. That's cool. So, yeah. uh, I remember in Hamilton for one practice day, I was the only one there. Um, but uh, yeah, and um, like it was kind of like like a video game where like you can't see ahead of you at all, and it like because it was so foggy and like. Uh, it was like you just unlocked new parts of the track because you just couldn't see like in front of. <laughs> oh, I get what you mean. And, like going into corner seven, it was like, oh, there it is. Yeah. You know, looks like it's a tree, but it could just be a bump. I don't. Yeah, know. it's like, like you it's literally tree. can't see. No, I'm in the barrier. Yeah. Can't imagine what the grip level was either. Oh, Not great. Yeah. With all the moisture yeah. coming out of the air and all that with the fog, yeah, yeah it's no way. What grip? Yeah, what's grip? <laughs> what is grip uh great stuff all right boys anything else no again i really want a bacon we said-, <laughs> I just- we said we said anything else we said no and then we turned it into like a 10 minute conversation again. yeah well that's because i because i brought up one more thing I, I said hold on wait where do you guys see yourselves going with this but um yeah. big f1 dreams if it does come true let's please remember this podcast and uh, oh, there. Free tickets to Monaco. Let's you go. Watch the race. Nice. Let's go. That'd be cool to watch the race from the, um, from like, you know, like one of those, um, hotel places, like just over the track, which would probably be one of the only entertaining parts of that, considering we all know how the Monaco Grand Prix goes nowadays. Yeah. It's mostly qualifying. Yeah. I just would like to thank all my sponsors and I'll do the same. Yeah, you can. You can do it. Thank you, everyone, for sponsoring me and stuff. Your help is deeply appreciated. I echo what he says, and I hope that I can get more in the future. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Please support us next year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thanks for having right. me. No yeah. problem at all, boys. Anytime. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's going to be it for this edition of the Racing Topic Podcast. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe on the video, and keep keep posted. I um, think I'll soon sooner or later be um, posting audio only to um, uh, like Spotify or Apple Music or all the other just listening softwares out there. So I got to get the ball rolling with that, but it's uh, been a good one. So again, thank you, Arian Jackson, for being our first episode of 2023. So you guys... Again, thank you all for watching, and as always, I hope you enjoy. Take it easy.